table. In this video, I am going to start session 2, create and edit tables using wizard and SQL commands. Now in this, the first is that in a relational database management system or DBMS, whatever data we have that is actually stored or organized in the form of tables, this means in the form of rows and columns. Now just to explain meaning of this statement, I am going to show you one table in the RDBMS. So now here you can see in Apache Open Office Base, I am using this table to store details of the students. So here data that I wanted to keep or store, that data I am storing in the form of table. So that is the meaning of the first statement that we got in the slide that in RDBMS data is organized in the form of table and table is only what collection of rows and columns. Now moving to the next slide. Now next one is table. So a table is a set of data elements or values that is organized using a model of vertical columns which are identified by their name and horizontal rows. So table is what just now we have seen. The table is a set of data only or elements or values also this is called and this data or elements or values are actually stored or organized in the form of vertical columns and each column is identified by its name or label and horizontal rows. So now just to explain meaning of this definition I am going to use the same table. So now moving to that table. So here you can see that this is the table keeping details of three students. So here table is what this is the collection of data or values or elements and these values or elements or data is stored in rows and columns and here each column is identified by its name or label. For example here we have seven columns and each column is identified by its name or label. For example the first column is serial number, second column is name, third column is date of birth or DOB here it is mentioned. So this is about the column. That column is identified by its name or label. Next here we have rows and we have details of three different students in three rows. So this is all about the table. The table is what the collection of the values and those values you can notice is available in the cells and these values are actually organized in the columns and rows and each column is identified by its label or name and we have here horizontal rows and horizontal rows here actually keeping the details. Now moving to the next slide. Now next one is what? A table has a defined number of columns but can have any number of rows. This means that in a table, whenever you will open the table to enter the data, you will always get same number of columns but as per our requirement, we can increase or decrease rows or we can add or remove the rows. So here, just to explain meaning of this statement, again I am going to use the same table. So here in this table, you can see that we have seven columns and whenever we are going to open this table to do the entry so in that case we will always get these seven columns only and whenever we will do the entry of the new student we have to provide details of that student in these seven mentioned columns so that's why always we will get as these seven columns whenever we are opening this table so that's why there it was mentioned that in a table we have defined number of columns or we have fixed number of columns but we have any number of rows this means what that right now you can see that we have details of three students but suppose as i get data of 100 students so i will be able to enter 100 records and thereafter if i get 200 more students details so i will be able to add 200 more records here so that's why in the table we have fixed or defined number of columns but we have any number of rows or we can add any number of rows there now thereafter moving to the next slide. Now here after this next is column. So first of all you should know that in case of RDBMS relational database management system columns are also called feeds or attributes and column is actually what this is a set of data only but here this data is of actually one particular type and here next is that whenever we are doing the entry of the new row we have to provide value in each column as per its type. Now just to explain meaning of this statement I am going to use the same table. So in the definition first of all it was mentioned that column is the collection of the values. So here you can see that serial number, name, DOB, class these are the different or various columns here and each column is what the collection of values only. For example serial number is the first column here and containing five different values. Name is the second column here and containing three values. DOB is the third column containing three values or date of birth of three different students. So here this is the first that column is the collection of values 
and these values are of a particular type now meaning of this is what that when we are talking about the dob column it is containing date of birth only when we are talking about class column it is containing class of students when we are talking about the email column it is containing email id when we are considering this phone number column it is containing phone number of the student so that is the column this is a collection of the values of a particular type whatever label we are mentioning as per that column is containing values and thereafter next is what that whenever we are doing entry of the new row or record in that case we have to provide value in the row cell as per the column label means when i am going to enter details of the fourth student then in the first column i have to provide serial number in the next cell of the row i have to provide name thereafter in the next cell of the row i have to provide date of birth as per the column so that is all about the column means collection of the values of a particular type and when we are entering new record we have to provide value in that record cell as per the column label now i'm moving to the next slide now next here is rows so this also you should know that in case of rdbms relational database management system rows are also called records or tuples as columns are also called fields or attributes so in the same manner rows are also called records or tuples and row is actually what a row represents a single data item in a table means here when we are talking about the table then each row is containing complete detail or entire detail about a particular item for example i am going to use the same table now so here in this you can see that this first record is containing entire details of a student whose name is arun second record is containing entire details of a student whose name is ajay so here you can see that each row is containing what entire details of a particular object or a particular entity or of a particular item this is the row or records or tuple in rdbms that is containing the complete detail or entire details of a particular object or entity or item now moving to the next slide now here next is data types and this is a very important concept and this is very important when we are creating table in rdbms actually whenever we are creating table in the rdbms then that time we have to mention all the columns and while mentioning columns we have to mention its data type now data type is actually what data types are used to identify which type of data or value we are going to store in the database this means what that when we are mentioning the column in the table so that time we have to mention its data type also. and data type we have to select as per the value that column is going to contain so just to explain this i am going to use the same table again so here as you can see that serial number column is containing only numeric value dob column is containing date this name column is containing alphabets class column is also containing alphabet in the email column possibility is there of numbers alphabets as well as special character location is containing only alphabets and phone number is containing only numeric value so what kind of value our particular column is going to contain as per that we have to select its data type so here in case of rdbms all the data types are divided into five categories so now we will see all the five categories one by one so these are the five different data types in the open office base first is numeric type so whenever your column is going to contain numeric value uh, for example your serial number column phone number column is containing only numeric values for such columns we have to use numeric data type next is alphanumeric types so whenever our column is going to contain alphabets numbers and special characters values so in that situation we have to use alphanumeric data type next is binary so whenever we are going to keep in the column images or files so in that situation we have to use binary data type thereafter next is date time for example in case of dob column we are keeping date of birth of the students so when our column is going to contain date so in that situation we have to use date time data type and other variable types so if something else is there so for that we are using other variable types data type. now in detail each data type so first is numeric types so numeric data types are used for describing numeric values for the field used in the table of a database so whenever a column is only going to contain numeric value in that case we have to use numeric data type for example serial number column is containing only numbers phone column is also containing numbers for example i am going to include one more column and that column is fees so that fees column is also going to contain numeric value so whenever our column is going to contain numeric values so in that case we have to use numeric data type and this is a list of the numeric data types available in open office space 
boolean tiny int small int integer big int numeric decimal real float double so these are the various data types available in the numeric data type category and here last four decimal real float and double these four data types we are using whenever our column is going to contain decimal value now after that next one is alphanumeric types so alphanumeric data types are used for describing values with alphabets numbers and special characters for the fields used in the table of a database so whenever our column is going to contain alphabets numbers or special characters so in that situation we have to use use alphanumeric data type so just to explain this i am going to use the same table so here you can see that name column is containing only alphabet so we have to use for this alphanumeric data type in class column also we have class in roman so these are alphabets only so for this also we have to use alphanumeric data type in case of email id column here we have alphabets all the special character as well as numbers are also possible in email id so that's why data type for this email column is also alphanumeric location is a column containing alphabets so that's why data type for this column is also alphanumeric now in alphanumeric data type we have these four different uh, data types available one is long varchar second is char third is varchar and fourth is varchar ignore now there after next one is a binary types so binary data types in a database can be using for storing photos music files etc for example in the table i am including one column and that column label is photo and i want to keep a students photograph in that column so for that i have to use binary data type for the photo column so whenever we want to keep in our column photo or files so in that situation we are using binary data type now here in binary data type we have these three data types available one is long var binary second is binary and third one is var binary now after that date time types so date time data types in a database can be used for storing information such as date of birth date of admission date of product sale etc so whenever our column is going to contain a date value or time value in that case we are using date time data type for example in the table you have seen dob column is there and that dob column is contain date of birth of the student so for that column i selected date time data type in the same manner for example if we have date of admission column so for that also we will use date time data type so whenever our column is going to contain date or time value in that case we are using date time data type for that column now in date time data type we have these three data types available one is date second one is time and the third one is time as now next one is other data types so now if we have something else other than all the things we have discussed so for that we will use other data type so here now this session 2 first part is getting over and next part of the session 2 will be started in the next video so this video now i am going to end here